Oh, finally. <laughs> one second, one second. Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to everybody. I'm very sorry, guys. I was facing some issues. Still, my light is not working. Only one light is coming. So that's why I look a little dull today because my light stopped working. Okay, but I hope all of you guys are ready for this amazing class, guys, because we are back with another sprint session for grade seven and this is nutrition in animals it's going to be super fun because in sprint you all know we'll be doing mind map we will be doing a week quiz previous year questions so much more okay so make sure that you call in all of your friends because today's topic is going to get interesting it's going to get interesting okay Yesterday's class got cancelled because of some technical issues again. So we'll get that rescheduled. Don't worry. So yesterday's class for grade six waste water story got rescheduled. Don't worry. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. So with this guys, we shall start with the class. Very, very uh, uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, do not forget to leave a like, subscribe and also share this video with all of your friends who are preparing for their exams. Okay. A beautiful quote, opportunities don't happen, you create them. All right, you create them, guys. Let's go with the sprint. Okay, a beautiful mind map for everybody. So guys, this chapter basically talks about what? The nutrition in animals. Right, because already we have learned something called components of food. Isn't it? We all eat food because we need energy. We need to do our day-to-day -day activities. So what is present in that food which gives us energy, which, which makes everything work? Now, those are components of the food. So we have carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, dietary fiber, and water. So all this is very, very important for a healthy survival, right? Now, when we talk about proteins, why do uh, animals need protein? Protein is for growth and repair, right? It builds our body. It makes our muscles. That's why people go into gym. They take protein shakes because they want to build their uh, muscles, right? It's for growth and repair. When we talk about carbohydrates and fats, these both are energy providers, isn't it? That's why after eating rice, you feel all energetic. After drinking juice, which contains sugar, you feel very awake, isn't it? Exactly. Now, what about fats? Fats are also energy providers. It is stored in our body for using it later. Okay. Minerals and vitamins, which are also essential for fighting off diseases, also for a healthy survival dietary fiber or it's also called as roughage is to remove the waste from our body so roughage is also very important right if people don't take enough roughage they end up getting constipation they'll not be able to go poo poo properly <laughs> right because dietary fiber helps in having a very good poo poo it, it removes all the uh, bad uh, uh, waste from our body Okay, and water, again, very important part of our meal, right? Water has a lots and lots of things, lots of important functions in our body. We itself are made up of water, right? It keeps us moisturized, our eyes, our mouth, our nose, right? Exactly. Now, so all of these are components of food. Now, let's come to how do animals take the food inside their body? Let's come to ingestion of food. How do we ingest it? Now, in the animal kingdom, there are so many animals, right? So many animals. There is cow, which chews the food. Fish, which swallows the food. Snake swallows the food. Snail scrapes the food. Bees and hummingbird, they suck the nectar from the plants. Right? We have grass-eating animals. Right, we have ruminants. Snake swallows the food fully. What about amoeba? Amoeba uses its body called pseudopodia, right? False feet in order to travel and trap the food and eat it. Few aquatic animals do filtering. They filter out tiny food particles floating nearby and they feed on them. What about infants, babies? 
they also depend on the mother's milk isn't it now let's get detailed on how humans take the food inside them right for that we have what we have what guys we have entire digestive system right we have an entire alimentary canal which performs the digestion function in humans isn't it what is the first step where digestion starts you take the food you eat it ingestion happens you ingest the food right you ingest the food after ingestion what happens right let me show you let me show you okay let me show you okay so what happens in humans guys so we start off with ingestion right we start taking the food inside our body where through the mouth we start where through the mouth so always remember the entire digestive tract or the alimentary canal involves this b o s s l a boss la what does this mean first it starts in the buccal cavity buccal cavity is your mouth right look at this buccal cavity is your mouth so what do you do you chew the food once you take the food you start chewing it in your mouth using what using your teeth you have beautiful teeth right you have incisors the front ones canines incisor is for biting the food like we bite the burger incisors then we have canines to tear the food then we have premolars and molars to grind the food so you basically chew everything right now this digestion is also called as mechanical digestion why because we are breaking all the big big particles into small particles we are doing mechanical digestion we are we are all chewing it okay along with this when we are chewing it there is an enzyme also that's coming into our mouth what is it saliva so saliva is secreted by the salivary gland and saliva starts to break down the carbohydrates in the mouth itself so in the buccal cavity we have two types of digestion taking place mechanical digestion chewing also enzymatic digestion because of the saliva because of the saliva once it is done where does the food go the food then goes into esophagus or your food pipe in the esophagus the food starts to travel because of contractions and expansion by a process called peristalsis so because of peristalsis the food moves down to your stomach a you finally what happens in the stomach in the stomach we have something called hydrochloric acid right so whatever bacteria are entering our body they are all killed because we have hydrochloric acid inside the stomach also we have a lot of digestive juices secreted in the stomach 
which breaks down everything. See guys, the only main idea is to break the pizza into tiny, tiny, tiny parts so that our body can absorb. Only because of that, all this process is happening. Okay, the digestive juices in the stomach and then we have hydrochloric acid. Why hydrochloric acid? To create an acidic medium so that we can break down proteins and such complex substances. Right? But hydrochloric acid is there. Why is it not burning the stomach? How is our stomach safe? Because we also have mucus in the stomach. There is a layer of mucus protecting the stomach. So that the acid is not burning the layer of stomach. Okay, after that, then the di partially digested food goes to small intestine where many digestive juices again from pancreas, then from intestinal juice itself, everything comes, breaks down completely and in the small intestine you have finger-like outgrowths. What is it called? Finger-like outgrowths called villi. These finger light outgrowths are on the inner surface of the intestine, which increases the surface area to maximize the absorption. So nothing is wasted. Everything is absorbed properly. Everything is absorbed. Absorption happens. Then whatever is remaining, all the solid waste is pushed into large intestine. In large intestine, the remaining water, any salt is all absorbed. Then it is thrown out of the body using anus or rectum. Okay, all the solid waste. That's basically your poo poo. Got it guys? But remember complete digestion happens in the small intestine only. Pura ka pura. Complete digestion. So these are the different parts which form the alimentary canal or the digestive tract in humans. Okay, so what are all the process happens? First one, you ingest the food. Ingestion is the process in which animal is taking the food inside the body. Then digestion happens where the complex food substances are broken down into simpler substances. Then absorption happens where in the intestine, the digested nutrients pass into the blood vessels in the small intestine. Then assimilation, whatever is digested, right? It gets distributed to the body wherever, you know, where they get used to build complex substances like uh, proteins required by the body. Then adhesion, thrown out. The removal of fecal matter from the body. Okay, this is what happens in the humans. Understood guys, very simple. So shall we go back and solve some questions now? Shall we solve some questions? Sir, can you explain what is ingestion in Tamil? See, ingestion is not an empty sapper. Or organism, other than one of a pretty ulvang within the ingestion. Sharia. Right? So, in our humans, we chew it, we eat it. But if only butterflies or honeybees, it will suck. Or a poor teddy poo, younger than the other honey or nectar, it suck. So, there are different types of ingestion. Sharia. Okay. Let's go for the. Uh, uh, questions now. We'll solve some questions, guys, and then we'll do the week quiz. Okay. First, what are villi? What is their location and function? Right? Huh. So villi are finger-like projections and uh, or outgrowths which are present in the small intestine, right? Uh, of our digestive system, they increase the surface area to maximize the absorption of the digested food. Okay. Why do we get instant energy from glucose? Because glucose is basically simple sugar, which will easily get absorbed in the blood. Whereas carbohydrates has to be broken down into glucose, then it has to be absorbed. That's why glucose gives you a lot of energy once you take it. Okay. Name the simple forms of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. The food components and their simple forms of carbohydrates is glucose. Fatty, fat, fatty acids is for fat uh, uh, and glycerol proteins for amino acids. These are the simple forms. What is assimilation? 
the process where the absorbed food is taken by the body cells and it is used for energy or for growth or for repair is called as assimilation right one similarity and one difference between nutrition in amoeba and human beings the digestive juices in amoeba are secreted in the food vacuole so it takes its body makes a food vacuole secretes digestive juices and absorbs all the nutrients but in human beings we have digestive juices in the stomach in the small intestine then that juices convert the complex substances into simpler substances and then we absorb it. Okay, Alima, no problem, beta, no problem. Amoeba captures the food with the help of pseudopodia and it swallows it. In human beings, food is taken by mouth. Okay, long answer types, guys. Different types of teeth present in the humans. I told you, we have incisors in the front of the teeth. I mean, in the front, the front teeth uh, are the eight visible teeth that is used to bite the food. This front eight four top four down then we have the canines next to the incisors which are used for tearing the flush premolars next to canines you have premolars for grinding and chewing then you have molars there are eight uh, the re uh, molars are replaced by eight premolars they serve the primary function of chewing and grinding the food define oral rehydration solution ors when is it given to the patient? How can you prepare ORS? So ORS means oral rehydration solution of a solution basically which, is, which has sugar and salt in a proper ratio. When a person passes out frequently uh, or passes out watery stools frequently, diarrhea, right? In this condition, there is a loss of water. Dehydration happens. So to rehydrate that person, to make sure that the water level is increasing in the body, we give ORS to that person. Okay. Now, how do you prepare at home? So ORS can be prepared by dissolving a teaspoonful of sugar, a pinch of salt in the glass. The water uh, used for preparing ORS should be boiled and cooled so that all the microorganisms are killed. Okay, following statements describe the five steps in animal nutrition. Read each statement and give one word for each statement. Transportation of absorbed food to different parts of the body and their utilization. Assimilation. Breaking of complex food substances into simpler foods. Digestion. Removal of undigested food. Adjustion. Taking food into the body. Ingestion. Transport of digested soluble food from intestine to blood vessels, absorption. Yes, bro. <laughs> okay. Now, prove that common salt, sugar and washing. Oh, this is different. Okay. Something is there. Huh? Importance of ruminant ruminants. So ruminants are, uh, are animals, grass eating animals, basically. Right. Their digestive system is completely different. Right? Yes. So there is a part called rumen in ruminants. It's a part of the stomach. It stores the food and the ruminant, uh, you know, reproduces it, chews it, again swallows it. There are specific bacteria found in the rumen which will convert the cellulose and then it absorbs all the nutrients. Okay. That partially digested food is called cud. Okay, that's why the cows keep on chewing like this. But it's a ruminant. Got it? So the process of cut chewing even when the animal is not eating is called rumination. The rumen fragments that first go, uh, goes through the formation of gas which must be expelled by bleaching to prevent bloating. Okay, now guys we learnt about different ways of taking food. Digestion in humans, digestion in grass eating animals, feeding and digestive system in amoeba. So now we'll go for a week quiz guys. We'll go for V quiz. Yes. Okay. Where do you find the link for the V quiz, guys? All you have to do is right below my video, you'll find the link for V quiz. Click on this link and you can join right away. Okay. Come on. Join the V quiz right away, guys. It's the, the link for the V quiz is right below the video. Click on this link and you can join right away. 
come on come on quick or you can go to www.weekwiz.in enter the code 228259 that's the code come on quick Quick guys, quick come on. The week quiz link is double. I mean the week quiz car code is double two eight two five nine. Everybody join, come on. Quick, quick. Join in, join in, guys. Quick. Beta, see, all these teeth are fixed to your jaw in their own separate canals. Okay, so there is a root part of your teeth which is fixed to the jaw. That's your root canal. Okay, so whenever uh, the teeth is uh, decayed very much, the doctor does a root canal uh, and then they remove the entire teeth. Okay. All right, guys. Let's start with the first question. It's not working, Priti. Refresh, beta. Refresh and try once. It should work. Right? Refresh and try. Okay. First question on your screen. Let's go. Five questions. Let's do it, guys. The false feet of amoeba are used for what? Movement only, capturing food only, capturing food and movement, exchange of gases only. What is the false feet of amoeba used for? Come on. Quick. Time up. It is used for both capturing the food and movement, guys. That's why it's called as false feet. So it can move also. Okay, pseudopodia. Now we have Vivek Mishra at the top. Very good. Then we have Yakin, Smiling, Candence, Manya, Radhika, Shivani, Chirayu, Prabhat, and Chirayu again. Oh, one is Chirayu Prajapati. Acha. Next question. Come on. Question number two out of five. Let's go. The breakdown of complex components into simpler substances is called what? Simple. Ingestion, addition, assimilation, digestion. Breaking of complex components. Come on. The breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances is called what? Yep, yep, come on. Very good, very good. All right, it is digestion. Absolutely good, guys. Okay, now leaderboard. Let's see who's on the top. We have Vivek Mishra, we have Yakin, Smiling, Candence, Radhika, Manya, Shivani, Akshara, Sangam, and Shreyas. Question number three on your screen. Which of the following animals swallow its prey? Human beings, snakes, hummingbirds, ant, which swallows the prey? Which swallows the prey? Come on. Time's up. It is option B. Snake swallows the food, guys. Right? Leaderboard. Vivek, Yakin, Smiling, Manya, Shivani, Sangam, Maksharashriyas, Candence, and Radhika. Fourth question on your screen. 
इट्स ओके कैंडन इट्स ओके द टीथ ऑफ द फर्स्ट सेट दैट ग्रोस ड्यूरिंग इन्फेंसी परमानेंट टीथ मिल्क टीथ स्टार्टिंग टीथ ऑल ऑफ दिस द टीथ दैट फर्स्ट ग्रोस राइट ड्यूरिंग इन्फेंसी ड्यूरिंग वेन यू आर स्मॉल Easy question, guys. Very easy. Come on. Yes, it is of course milk teeth. We all had milk teeth, no? When when we were all, I mean, small, it all fell, right? It is definitely milk teeth, guys. Right answer. So let's see the leaderboard. We have Yakin, Vivek, smiling, Manya, Shivani, Akshara, Shreyas, Radhika, Sangam, and Candains. One last question. Let's do. No, Manya. Nope. Starch is broken down into sugar by the action of dash. Saliva, bile juice, hydrochloric acid. All of this. What breaks down the starch? One last question. Come on, come on, quick. easy let's go let's go what breaks down the uh, starch into sugar it is definitely option a which is saliva guys great job it starts in the mouth itself right in the buccal cavity itself All right, so we have Vivek at the top. Very good, Vivek. Then we have smiling, and we have Yakin. Great job, people! You guys have all done very well. Congratulations to all of you. And I will be sending uh, this notes in the Telegram group. So join the Telegram group. Where can you find the link for Telegram group? Here only. Here only. See, click on this link to join the Telegram group. I'll be sending all the class notes there. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll be sending all the class notes there. You can search for Vedantu Young Wonders. I'll be sending it there. Okay. So I hope all of you guys had fun. We'll meet up in the next class, guys. Until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe, stay as lovely as always. Bye bye.